Welcome back. Uh, this is my latest project. It's not going to be a fairly big project, but it's building a wood-fired pizza oven. So I've had a pizza oven before for a few years, and it's not the dome style. It's a, it's a style where you have the fire at the bottom with a, a heating deck above that. I'm not sure really what it's called. Uh, it's not that I don't like the dome style. It's just that uh, I'm familiar with this. I think it works really well. It's got some benefits over the traditional type. So anyway, this is the trailer I'm making to sit it on because I want it to be portable. You can see under there is where the wood will be stored and I've got a couple of doors that I've built for that. And I've set it up on a trailer so I can tow it. So uh, I plan to tow it with a Mozuki. It should be fine. And it's got a standard... Um, tongue on there so I can pull it with a car as well but it, I think the Mozuki will be fine it's going to be quite heavy I expect it to re be around six to seven hundred kilos because uh, it's made from six millimeter mild steel plate uh, and there's a couple of 10 mil plates where I sit the cooking stones on just to uh, create a bit more of a heat sink so I tried to size it all up properly so the bricks fit in nice uh, you can see it going together so it's taken a bit of a shape um, it's going to be this squarer shape and as you can sort of get the gist when you see this is uh, the wood will burn at the bottom the fire goes directly underneath uh, some 10 mil plate and on top of that there are the cooking bricks and then I'll be able to cook the pizza in that top deck it's going to have a tray in there like that so I'll be able to adjust the height of the tray depending on what I'm cooking so the oven itself um, it's going to be a uh, stone veneer uh, faced around the sides and the back. I'm thinking of making like a slate style angled roof with a, a stone chimney as well. So it should still look really nice. Um, I'm just putting in the insulating fire bricks here. So there was a couple of problems with the original design that I had from uh, a, a commercial purchase. One is that it lo lost too much heat. So to stop that, I'm adding a lot more insulation. So there's insulating bricks on the, the bottom there to stop heat going through to the bottom. And I'm also going to put some ceramic pad and uh, more insulating bricks around the outside to stop heat loss at the back and the sides and on the roof. And uh, once I've got those insulating bricks on, I'll then line that with the stone veneer. Yeah, so what I've done is this top cooking area has um, five bricks at the bottom and the top and these are sitting on 10 mil thick plate just as a bit of a heat sink so you can see the 10 mil hopefully under there and then in the bottom there's also five bricks going at the base and the sides and then these bricks here on the bottom of the oven are actually sitting on an insulating fire brick so it's quite important. I'll show you this here. This here is an insulating fire brick. It's um, very light compared to a, a normal fire brick. This type is much denser. These are really easy to cut. You can cut these literally with uh, just a hacksaw if you want. Rated at 2,600 degrees. And what these do is these insulate heat. So I've got them on the bottom with um, the normal fire brick sitting on top because what this does is it's an insulator and it's going to stop the heat traveling through the oven to the back obviously where you cook you don't want it to insulate you want these to be a heat sink so these will actually hold heat and these ones resist heat so a layer of those on the bottom as you've seen before and then i'm going to put a layer of those all around the sides as an insulator as well as an inch of ceramic pad and then stone will go on the outside. So here's, this is a normal fire brick. If I was to put the oxy on this and have my hand on the other side, I would get burnt pretty quickly. Uh, whereas if you do that with a fire insulating brick, I could put heat here and hold my hand here and uh, there wouldn't be any heat, literally no heat coming through. So these are quite good. The cost of that is about $6 a brick Australian. These are about $4.50. So similar, but completely different purpose. And one mistake you don't want to make, you definitely don't want to build a pizza oven using these in the cooking area because it will just insulate heat and it won't cook. So just installing a temperature gauge here. Uh, 
pizzas are best cooked in my opinion at about 300 350 degrees celsius so you want to have that gauge there uh, i just want to show a bit of a demo on the difference between fire bricks and insulating fire bricks so this is just a standard brick and you can see the temperature has gone through it's about 190 degrees c each side now this is a insulating fire brick i've actually cut this in half so it's only half the thickness and you can see here i speed this video up this is in Celsius, so it's currently about 26 degrees on the face. I heat the other side up for a good five minutes uh, to just get it as hot as I possibly can, just to show you how effective uh, insulating bricks are. So really heat it up, good and proper. And uh, I hadn't done this before, so it's quite interesting to see just for myself firsthand how good they are. So um, heating it up. I put the uh, thermometer on there or infrared and you can see it's about 800 degrees C. Turn it the other side and incredibly it's only around 33, 34 or so Celsius which is about a bit less than 100 Fahrenheit in, in the old measurement or what we call old in Australia. This is after a few minutes, it's down about 450 Celsius and again it's only gone up a couple of degrees so it's literally the same and I can easily hold the palm of my hand on there so it's quite amazing this is the bottom so there's a sliding plate uh, so this is the air control and another benefit of this style of oven is I can control the air really well and I've got that both sides so that'll be the the fire area and above that is where I'll cook as I said before so I just made a couple of uh, brackets here or hinges and there's latches on there uh, from here I'll uh, finish the roof off and then I'll start insulating it and then after that see if we can cook uh, a nice pizza. Stay tuned.